Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can send email from Laravel project. So here we can see, we have a name, email, the phone number and the message over here. And what we are going to do first is that we are going to have a column over here called send email. And if the user click on that button or if the admin click on that button, send email for a specific message, then it will take the admin to another page. and in that page, the admin will be able to write an email to the user and that mail will be sent to that user email address. Okay. So first of all, let's go and create the option over here, send email. So let's go back to our code and we'll go to our resource, then queues, then admin folder at this side admin. Uh, here you can see all messages.blade.php. So let me just go down and after this message, we're going to have an option call send email so we are going to say here send email and here inside this for each loop we are going to have a td let's just say one here td and inside this td we are going to have a anchor tag let's keep a anchor tag then inside this anchor tag we are going to say send mail and let's also make a design for the anchor tag let's say here a class class will be btn btn success so let's save it here let's go back to our browser then refresh and there you can see we have a button over here set mail so when you click on this button it will get the id for for a specific message and go to a different page so for it let's go back to our code and here inside this h shape we we'll give to second bracket here and here you can see uh, using dollar data we are getting the name email phone and message so using dollar data we will also be able to get the id as well for a specific message so first of all let's go and mention the url here we we'll say url to single quotation and we we'll say here send underscore and after that we will give a comma here and we are going to mention this dollar data so we we'll say here dollar data this arrow sign will get the item so right now let's go to our web.php and create this route so let's go to our routes then web.php let me just directly go down and from here i'm going to copy this route and paste it here so the route name will be uh, send underscore mail let me copy it and we'll paste it here we'll use the admin controller the function name will be send underscore mail and since we are also sending the id from here so we will catch the id over here we'll give to second bracket and we'll say here id so right now let's go to our admin controller and create this function so we'll go to app http controllers and then admin controller let me just take you go down and here we are going to set public function let me just copy it from here send underscore mail and we we'll paste it here we'll also catch the id over here we we'll say here id then to second bracket so from here we'll just return the view we'll say here return view to first bracket single quotation and we'll have a view in the admin folder we'll say admin dot send underscore mail let's say our blade file name will be send underscore mail so right now uh, let's go to our admin folder right click on it click new file and we are going to say here send underscore mail dot blade dot php control s and then save so let's just say here simple html in the body we we'll say mail let's just say for it we'll remove this save it here and here let's just refresh and right now if you click on this send mail button here you can see in the url we are able to get the id and here you can see the mail is written over here okay let me just go to the xamp right now uh pc my admin then portal database and uh the contact table here you can see contact table so inside contact uh for yaml checking 7 the id is 7 which we are seeing over here so right now first of all we'll make the design so at the top we have the number and on the side we have the sidebar just like this one so let's go back to our code we'll go to our index.blade.php and from here i'm going to copy everything ctrl a ctrl c and we'll paste this over here for the design 
so control v and from here i'll remove this at the rate of include admin.body so save it here then refresh again then click on send mail and there you can see the css is not working properly uh, so let's go back and here inside the head section before this admin.css we are going to say here base asia will be slash public let's save it here then let's refresh again and there you can see so right now we'll just do one more thing and that is uh, let me just go to the body.blade.pc over here and we're going to copy this 3d from here then paste it after the sidebar so we we'll paste it over here and let's also close the div we'll close div div and div let's save and let's refresh again and there you can see we are able to see the design properly so right now first of all what we'll do is that uh, from the admin controller we'll send the contact data from here so let me just declare a variable let's say dollar data equal to we are going to mention the table name which is contact double tone find dollar id so let's just save it and we'll send this dollar data to this view so we'll say here comma compact to first bracket single quotation data so let's go to our send underscore main dot blade dot php and here let's just mention the center tag and inside this center tag let's mention h on tag and uh, let's say here main send to we'll give two second bracket and we're going to mention dollar data this arrow sign will get the name so from here we are sending the contact details of a specific user to this view and we'll just display their name and that name will come from the contact table okay so right now if we refresh uh, here you can see send mail to yami which is written over here okay let me just write over here uh, style we'll say here font size it will be 30 px and font width it will be bold so we'll just show the admin that we are sending the mail to a user called yamin so here in order to send a mail we need some text field over here so that admin can write the mail and send it to the user so for it we need to make some text field over here so let's go and mention a form over here or we can just copy that from a different page so that we do not have to waste any time in order to create the form so let me just go to the create room dot grade dot PSV over here and let me go down and here you can see a form so I'll copy this form and the form in there over here so let me just cut it from here control C and we'll just paste it over here control P so right now first of all let me just remove the URL from here method will be post okay let's also remove the ENC type and we have the CSRF token, uh, room title, description, price, room room type, free Wi-Fi. We'll remove all of them. But for now, let's just remove uh, free Wi-Fi and this upload image option. So let's just save it. Then let's refresh here. And there you can see we have the input field over here. So right now let's go back and let's modify a little bit and here for the submit button instead of add room we are going to say here send mail and uh, as you can see that the CSS is not working properly even though uh, there is some class over here so we need to copy some CSS style from this page as well so let me go at the top and here you can see uh, some style over here so we'll copy the style from here control c and we'll paste it in this send underscore mail uh, over here okay so let's save it then let me just refresh here and there you go it is showing properly so here we have five text field one of them will be greeting then the email body part then a action text and a url text we will also send the user a link uh, in the email so that the user can click it and we will also give a inline like uh, thank you very much for watching or anything okay so let's go back let me just go down and here instead of room title we are going to say here greeting for the mail and the title will be greeting 
after that this is the description so this will be the body part male body part so let's just say here uh, let's say here male body male body so here name will be let's just say body after male body will have action text and here type will be text and uh, name will be uh, let's say action text let's just say action underscore text and here uh, let me just remove this tip and let me just copy this control c then control v so here we are going to say action url so this one will be action url name and we'll have one more and that one will be the in line so let's just say here in line so the name will be uh, in line so everything is okay over here let's save it again and let me just show you again and there you can see we have the greeting mail body action text action url and inline and how to on is that if the user click on the send mail button it will send a mail to the user so right now in order to send a mail to the user we need to create a notification table in our database and in order to create that we need to write this command over here php partition notifications table so let me just copy this control c and we'll go to our project directory and we're going to open a command prompt here let me zoom in and here we're going to say psv addition notification clone table and then press enter so once you press enter you can see migration created successfully so so right now if we just go to our port and right now if we just go to our database table and inside database table we have the migrations folder and inside migrations here you can see a table is created called notifications so if we go to over here here you can see something like this is written over here and we do not need to change anything over here okay so we can just close this and after this we are going to write our second command which is php addition migrate so we are going to say here php artisan migrate and press enter and there you can see migration is complete it means if we just go to our database and if we refresh there you can see that uh, a notification table is created over here so after this we need to run the third command which is php addition make notification my first notification so here you can see my first notification you can just name it anything you want so let me just copy this part from here Control C and we'll go back to our command prompt again. Then we paste it over here and here we're going to say send email notification. You can name it anything. Send email notification or my first notification. Okay, so we'll now press enter. And it is showing us that a notification folder is created in the app folder. So let's go back to our code. And this time if we just go to our uh, let me show you if you go to app and inside app you will see a notifications folder and inside notification folder here you can see send email notification.php so we need to modify this but before we modify anything over here we need to make on more changes in the models and in the contact.php so uh, let me just go back and here uh, let me go to the contact table so using the contact table we are trying to send mail to a specific user right so uh, in the contact model what we are going to do is that we are going to say here you need to go to app then models and the contact.php of whatever table you are using to give the user a mail okay so we are going to say here use uh, notifiable so we have added the notifiable over here so right now before we make changes in the send email notification we need to create the route uh, so let's just go to the send underscore mail dot blade dot php and here you can see form action url so here uh, let's give to second bracket and we are going to say here url to first bracket to single quotation so here we are going to say mail and we also need to get the ids for the specific row so here using dollar data we are showing the name so we can do the same thing over here we'll say here dollar data this arrow sign id so we'll get the id and right now let's go to our routes then web.php and here let me just copy this control c then control v so the route this time will be post and our 
the URL name is mail. So we are going to say here mail and we'll say use the slash ID over here. It means we also need to catch the ID and our function name will be mail as well. So let's save it and right now let's go to our, okay, we'll use the admin controller. We'll use admin controller. So let's go to our admin controller and here we're going to set public function mail will catch the dollar id over here then give to second bracket so right now let's go and declare a variable we'll say here dollar data equal to mention the table name which is contact double clone file dollar id and after this we'll declare a variable but before that uh, since we are trying to send a mail so we need to add notification at the top so we we'll say here use app backslash notifications notifications backslash send email notification notification which is basically this one uh, here you can see inside app we have the notifications folder and inside notification we have the send email notification okay so that's what we basically write over here so after this let me just go down and uh, here we are going to declare a variable and let's say the variable name will be dollar details equal to we'll give to third bracket and let me just write it like this and in it is the semicolon so here we'll write it a little bit different okay one more thing we need to do is that we need to request the data so we we'll say here request uh dollar request i forgot to add that since this is a post request and we want to get the data from here treating body okay so that's why so here what we are going to do is we'll give to single quotation and we'll declare something like this greeting equal to we'll request the data we'll say here dollar request then this arrow sign and the first one is let me just show you only one time greeting body action underscore text action underscore url and inline so let me just say over here greeting let's just give a comma here and let me just copy this control c and i'll paste it one two three and uh, fourth time so this one this one will be the body part so let's just say here body then here uh, this will be the action text so let's say here action underscore text then this one will be action underscore url we'll say action underscore url and this will be the last one so this will be the uh, in line, in line. So you can declare those anything you want. And uh, what we are doing is that we are getting the data from this page and we are keeping that uh, that in those reading body action text, those variable. And using this array dollar details, we will send all those data to our send email notification. Okay. So right now, uh, let me just go down here. And after this start bracket, we are going to write notifications, double clone, send to first bracket. Then we'll say here dollar data, comma, new, uh, send email notification. So basically we are mentioning this, send email notification.php. Then we'll give to first bracket and we're going to say here dollar details. So basically what we are doing is that we are calling a notification function and we are sending the details all those data to our send email notification.php over here using the dollar details variable and after sending the email we want the user to stay on the same place so we'll say here return then redirect redirect back okay so first of all uh, what we need to do is that we need to go to this send email notification and get those all the details of our here so first what we are going to do is that we are going to have a private variable we'll say here private dollar details and here in this construct we are going to say dollar details then here we are going to say dollar this uh, this arrow sign will say details equal to dollar details so basically what we are doing is that first of all we are declaring a variable and uh, we are trying to get all those data all those details data 
over here and after that let me just go down and here you can see public function to mail so we need to modify this so here you can see line so instead of line we are going to say here greeting so this will be the mail greeting so we'll just remove this from here then we'll say here dollar this this arrow sign details and we'll give to third bracket and we'll get the greeting and this greeting will come from our controller okay from here greeting so after this uh, let me just copy this control c and we'll paste it over here so we'll say here instead of greeting we'll say here live so this will be the main body so we'll say here body and whatever i'm going to write over here everything will come from here okay so after this uh, mail body will have the action text and action url inside this okay so here you can see action so first of all let me just copy it from here control c then we we'll remove this paste it here and it will be a uh, dollar this body stock body we are going to say action underscore text so whatever you write in the action the first one will be action text and the second one needs to be the action url so we'll give a comma over here and uh, let me just copy this then paste it here and instead of action text we'll say action url and this is in the last line so let me remove this and paste it here so this will be the so not last line in line in line and make sure that the text matches with our admin controller with those okay so after that we can just save it so we are ready to send the mail from our uh this uh this page okay but before that we need to set up our mail in our dot env file so let me just go to the project then dot env file uh we'll go to the dot env file and let me just go down and here you can see uh in the dot env file mail mail is smtp and mail host so mail host will be smtp dot gmail dot com and the mail port will be uh let's say four six five and username so here you need to give your username or you can give your mail so i'll just give my mail over here so for this i am going to use uh, this mail let me just show you this mail in pixel triple zero on at the top gmail.com so i'll just copy this and i will paste it over here and mail encryption this will be ssl and mail from address this will be in pixel at the top gmail.com and here you can see mail password so we need to give the app password for this mail and here you can see some text over here we can give any text default text from here if you want so let's say it will be hello first mail you can uh, give anything over here so here first of all we need to give the app password for this specific mail so for it what you need to do is that let me just go to the mail and uh, here uh, what you need to do is that just log into your mail address and click over here manage your google account after that go to the security option and we'll just go a little down over here and here you can see two-step verification so in order to add this uh, you must have your two-step verification on okay so here you can see my two-step verification is already on so i'll click over here and then click next and here if you go a little down at the downside you will see app password option so uh, for your case app password option might be somewhere else just check it out so for my case it is over here so here you can see app password so we we'll click over here and here you need to give your app name so you can give it anything we'll say here website and then click on create and it will give you this app password over here like this and you need to copy it because once you click done you won't be able to see this app password anymore okay so you just copy this and uh, store it in your notepad somewhere okay uh, so i'll just store it over here so after that let's go back to our after copying this just click done and here you can see on app password is created so let's go back to our 
code and in the password we'll just paste the app password and remove the space from here so we are ready to send mail so let's just save it and let's go back to our browser let me just refresh okay syntax error i miss a is greater than sign for each equal sign so let me just go to the admin controller and we need to give a is greater than sign so let me just select everywhere and we'll give this sign okay so let's save it here again and let's just refresh is done okay let's just go to the messages i'll show you from the beginning so you can see i have a mail address over here and send mail button i'll click on send mail so mail sent to user let's say here hi mail module will be uh, that's really great and here action text so inside this action text we are going to say subscribe this channel and in the action url we are going to give a url and this is my channel url you can see web technology so i will just copy this url and paste over here in the action url and in the inline we are going to say thanks for watching and if i now click on this send mail button it's reloading okay class app notification not found okay the reason is uh, in the admin controller we need to add one more thing and that is use notifiable notification use notification over here we need to use this in our admin controller so let's save it again and let's just go back and let's start from the beginning let me just refresh here again and let's say here hi and in the admin body let's say here thanks for watching in the action text subscribe this channel action url inline okay thanks for watching again okay in the body let's say have a good day and right now we click on send mail again it's reloading and there you can see the reload is complete so right now if i just go to my mail address uh we just yam is seven uh, so here you can see my email address is yam is seven at the end of gmail.com and i did not receive any mail over here uh, and let me go to in inbox and here you can see in the primary here you can see hello fast mail and if you do not uh, see a mail over here make sure that you also check the spam folder as well okay so here you can see here hello fast mail if i just click on it uh, here you can see hi have a good day thanks for watching and here you can see action text and if i click on this subscribe this channel it will take me to my channel so yeah this is how you can send email from laravel i hope this tutorial was useful to you you learn something new if, if you have any question or if you face any problem just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials